Hey everyone, I'm Taylor with Green Our Planet and today we're going to be fixing a leak in the lower reservoir of a zip grow farm wall system. Uh, the system we're looking at today, it's had a problem with the drip and it looks like, you know, uh, they've applied some more sealant at one point to uh, mitigate that problem, but it's come back and it looks like there might actually be a couple types of sealant on here. I'm going to tell you a little bit about why. We shouldn't do that and we're going to get this thing fixing, fixed up and working. To get started you can see I've got my latex gloves here. I've got a little paint scraper. I have some rubbing alcohol that I'm going to use to clean this up. A couple of paper towels and I'm going to be using to fix this leak today JB Water Weld. This is a product I like. Um, you can actually use this. It will set and cure uh, both out of water, it will even work underwater, and this one's actually drink, uh, drinking water safe once it is set and cured. So it's a good one to use in a hydroponic system. And the first thing I'm going to be doing is removing the end cap, the leaking end cap from this reservoir. So it's not too difficult. I'm going to start at these top two corners, push those off, and and I'm going to remove that and set the cap aside for now. The next thing we want to do is we want to remove all of this old sealant from the edge of this system. So that's where my paint scraper comes in. I'm going to use that to be getting under this, scraping out any old sealant. And then we'll clean this up and get ready for the next uh, application of our fresh seal. You always want to make sure when you're scraping things with this, you don't want to do it toward yourself or toward your hand. So I will continue to rotate this system where I can work away from myself with the tool so I don't have to worry about slipping, jabbing myself, causing some sort of injury. All right, so we got our old seal cleaned up. Uh, we're gonna spray this down now with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just to get it nice and clean before we apply the new sealant. So we're gonna wipe down the edge of our tower there. We're also going to clean out our old end cap. And once we dry, once we spray this down with alcohol and dry it, we'll be ready to mix up our new sealant and apply that. And we'll have this thing back to working condition pretty soon. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to get this JB water weld. We're going to take that out of our tube. And to do this, end cap I typically use half of a tube so the nice thing about this project it is a two-part adhesive as you'll be able to see one part is in the center and then it's got another part outside so we're going to use about half of this to seal our end cap so I'm going to take half the tube and you want to mix it really well. You'll notice when you first mix it, it will be gray and white in color. And we want to knead this together for a minute or two until we have one consistent color. As I focus for this particular reservoir, mainly on the three sides, I want the bottom and both the edges sealed really well. Across the top, we're never going to have this reservoir filled all the way to the very tip top. So it's not as important to have sealant on that fourth side. So I'm going to start now that I've kneaded my water well together, I'm going to start laying that out around. 
my end cap. So we've got that in place. We're then gonna kind of smush this down in a little bit into that cap. Just work it back in, make sure you don't have any gaps or spots where it's not gonna seal. We're gonna take this and we're gonna squish it right on. Making sure those three sides all get pushed on tightly. And then we'll run our finger along these seams on the inside and outside, just to try and smooth it out a little more, give it a nice seal. So the reason we wanna make sure we remove any old sealant and just have one sealant being used for this is that if you have like a silicone and an epoxy or two different types of sealant they might not adhere to each other very well it always works best if you only use one type of sealant for this and if you have to repair one to remove whatever was old in there in the first place all right so we've got our new sealant in place we're now going to let this set and cure we can test it right now to see if it's watertight but we're gonna have the best results if we leave this dry, let it air dry for 24 hours before we fill it up. That'll give us our strongest, best connection.